Hey guys, and welcome back to your Pilates 101 series. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about something that we like to call at Peaches as whiny wrists. Now, what I'm talking about is weakness and discomfort through the wrist. Now, unless you have a specific injury, it usually comes down to a few things. Weakness and lack of mobility through the wrist region. So what I'm gonna do is give you a few tips to help strengthen the wrists. Before we get started, I want you to understand the difference between discomfort and pain. Now, the only way to really strengthen your wrists is to use them properly. So if you are feeling a little bit discomfort through the wrist, then you just need to push through just a little bit. If you hit that pain sector, then you start to take those modifications and you'll find that the longer that you can withstand that tiny bit of discomfort, the stronger your wrists will get and the less you'll need to take those modifications. So let's start with the correct form and how to weight bear on our wrists in a four point or plank position. So if you're in a four point kneeling position, I want you to press your hands into the mat and spread your fingers as wide as can be. And then you wanna press through the knuckles. Now it's super important to use your whole body. We're not just weight bearing into our wrists like this. So I want you to push the chest away from the floor as if you've got a piece of string between your shoulder blades and it's lifting you up into the ceiling. I want you to have a little bit of a bend through your elbows, again, using your upper body rather than just weight bearing into the wrist. Now, if you take to a high plank position, don't change anything, use that whole body. The more you collapse, the more you'll push into the heel of the hands, the more your wrists have to do. So focus on pushing into the knuckles. Now, you need to modify. These are your options. So you'll obviously decrease the weight by lowering the knees so your lower body can take some weight for you. Then you also have the option to turn your hands into a fist. So you'll roll your hands into a fist and push up and away through your knuckles. Last modification, and I want this to be your very last option, is lowering down onto your elbows. Now, when you do this, this isn't an excuse to collapse. Again, nice and strong through the upper body, making sure you're not shrugging the shoulders, okay? So, they are my Pilates 101 tips for whiny wrists from me to you. I hope this helps. And remember, push past a little bit of discomfort. If you do have an injury, go and seek professional help. Okay, thank you guys, bye.